Hi guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to talk about the benefits of zinc and how it improves your hormones uh, as it relates to testosterone and other hormones. I'll tell you the best type to get, other benefits, what dosages to take, and what not to take with it, and so forth. So let's get first started with the main benefit of testosterone. It helps increase testosterone, and it's not direct. It happens actually indirectly. You see, as we get older, testosterone levels start to drop. Right? For guys, it starts in your mid-20s to, to late 20s. Now, the problem is, as testosterone drops, the reason is because it starts to convert to negative hormones, right? One of the first hormones that it converts to more and more is DHT, which is dihydrotestosterone. That's the hair loss hormone and the excess body hair hormone, and also the hormone that's related to prostate problems, prostate growth, and also prostate cancer. So as testosterone levels uh, decrease because it converts more to DHT. So we don't want that. One of the ways zinc works is it lowers DHT levels by being as a mild 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. 5-alpha reductase is the enzyme that converts. So long story short, less DHT, which is what you want. You don't want to have no DHT. You just want less DHT. So testosterone goes up. That's a good, that's the first benefit. The other problem as we get older is that we start to convert more to estrogen, one of the female hormones. Now, estrogen leads to uh, man boobs, gynecomastia. Estrogen also leads to, you know, being moodiness, fatigue. Also, estrogen decreases testosterone levels. Estrogen also gets, happens for two reasons. First of all, the more fat you have, the more estrogen your body produces directly from the fat cell. That's a secondary reason. But the primary one is that testosterone converts to estrogen as we get older, and that does so through an aromatase enzyme. So testosterone, more enzyme, converts more to estrogen. Zinc also helps reduce estrogen, the aromatase, and acts as a mild aromatase inhibitor. So now, instead of having more estrogen, you have less. So again, instead of testosterone converting to DHT and estrogen, zinc helps decrease these. So now you have more testosterone, less DHT, less estrogen. That means better mood, better muscle, less body fat, and less hair issues. So that's one of the main benefits right there as, in it, as it relates to testosterone. However, zinc has additional benefits. It helps, it's needed for growth hormone levels, right? And it's also, and growth hormone, just to let you know, it helps burn fat, helps, um, you know, build muscle and so forth, and it's very anti-aging. The other benefit is it's required for higher levels of T3, thyroid. How does it work? It helps convert more T3, T4 into T3 through the 5 dnas enzyme, which is what you want. More T3 means leaner, you burn more fat. So those are the main hormonal benefits, the testosterone, the DHT, the estrogen, GH, and T3. There's additional benefits, those are the main ones. And it's also very good for fertility and sperm mobility and zinc is also known for improving your immune system. So that's a lot of benefits right there, which I like, which is why I tell almost everyone to pretty much take zinc. Uh, it's very deficient in most people's diets, and it's also very, I believe, to be an essential mineral. Now, let's talk about where you get zinc as far as food. The two best places is through oysters, which I don't like, which I'm not a fan of. If you do like them, do so. You know, you gotta eat them daily, all right? The other type of food is grass-fed, free-range beef, and also what I consider better than beef is bison, okay? So grass-fed bison, very good, and also um, oysters. Those are the top ones. There's a lot of other foods that have zinc, but again, you have to take so much more food. Now, what's the dose? The dose, I suggest, is the minimum is around 15 milligrams a day, and uh, I suggest up to 50 milligrams being the maximum. Now, when I was younger, I, you know, I started taking zinc when I was 19 because I knew about the benefits. I knew about all that stuff. So I thought, why well, take, you know, 10 or 20 or 30? I just started taking 100 milligrams, it was 200 milligrams a day. I didn't notice the benefit. I didn't notice all that stuff. However, over the years, I also noticed that it started, I started having a lot more gray hair. Well, I didn't think of it at that time. I didn't do the research. I just read it and went into it. You know, back then I didn't have the knowledge I have now. I didn't dig deeper and deeper. So later on, I find out that zinc creates a copper deficiency, another mineral, right? And that 
copper deficiency causes gray hair. So, I mean, I, I color my hair. You can still, I still have gray hair and I have a lot of gray in my beard. So I shaved the goatee and all that stuff. But what happens is that as I lowered my uh, uh, zinc levels and I started also adding in copper, my gray hair improved, meaning there's less gray hair. It's one of the things that I've done to improve my gray hair. And also, um, it was just things were better all around. Now, as far as the, the, the dosage as to copper to zinc, I suggest about a 10 or 15 to 1 ratio. What does that mean? That means 10 milligrams of zinc to 1 milligram of copper or 15 milligrams of zinc to 1 milligram of copper. Right around there is where the clinical studies suggest. I would also add in selenium. Selenium is also needed. Selenium is also good for your libido and all that stuff. It's an awesome essential, uh, I believe, mineral, and it's also good for your immune system. So we want a combination of zinc and also the best form of zinc. Through the research I've done is zinc picolinate. It doesn't have to be zinc, but I get zinc picolinate. Uh, Zin Max is the one I use. Um, and you want zinc, you want copper, and you want some selenium. Again, you know, you can take it by itself, or if you are interested in improving your testosterone levels and all these other hormones that I mentioned today, 10 times more than even zinc by itself, I suggest you take Alpha Vero. There's a link below for more information about Alpha Vero. It contains the exact dose of, of the zinc, the copper, and the selenium. Of course, it's got uh, also vitamin D3, which is also good for improving testosterone levels and lots of awesome herbs and minerals and all these other things in there. Again, more information about that. Comes with a one-year guarantee. Doesn't work. You get a full money back plus an additional $100 cash back. This is the one I take. So right now, I want to recoup. The benefit to zinc improves testosterone levels by inhibiting or lowering DHT, the hair loss hormone, dihydrotestosterone, and estrogen, estradiol levels come down. That's the female hormone. So those are the two main benefits. These two come down testosterone levels go up, improves GH levels as well, improves thyroid levels. So right here, you get to look better, you feel better, you have more muscle, right? Better sex drive, and you get younger looking. So the other benefit is, again, fertility and sperm mobility helps boost your immune system. The best foods is oyster and grass-fed beef. The ideal dose is between around, I suggest, 15 to 50 milligrams a day. The ratio, you should also be taking it with copper as well as selenium. Uh, the correct dose or, or ratio is about a 15 to 1 or 10 to 1 ratio of zinc to copper. 10 milligrams of copper, 1 milligram. I mean, 10 milligrams of zinc and 1 milligram of copper. You take it by itself or you can take it all in Alpha Vero. It's got it all. Again, more information details below. Don't take too much because it can accelerate gray hair and it creates an imbalance. So there you have it. Zinc is awesome. Take it. Utilize it daily. If you can't get it from the foods, which most of us can't, you can either take it by itself or take it with alpha viral. It's already already in there with additional herbs that help and boost your testosterone levels. As always, if you aren't subscribed, please do so. Click that bell icon so you'll be notified for similar videos. As always, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.